Hi, welcome to the walkthrough of RPA Genie. In this walkthrough, we will learn about the PowerShell activity under the system section. So first we'll see how the execute PowerShell activity works. The execute PowerShell activity executes PowerShell commands with specified parameters. So in this walkthrough, we will see how to use this PowerShell uh, activity and execute two separate scripts. So here on a notepad, I have two separate scripts over here. The first one is, uh, for the first one, we will create a text file on the desktop. I name it test. Now we will get the name and creation time of this test file and write it into another text file and save it into this folder. So using the execute PowerShell activity, we'll see how it works. So here uh, on the, in the command text field, we will click on these three dots and use this script, copy and paste it. Click on save and check this is script box. Now in this script, we have two parameters that is the file path and the output file path. And this is the commandlet to get the name and creation time and write it into the, uh, write the output into the uh, output file path. So here we need to add two parameters uh, in this section. So click on these three dots and click on add and our first parameter is file path. So this for this file path value, we need to give the path of the test.txt file that which is created. So we can select copy as path and paste it here. Next, we need to add one more parameter, which is output file path. While creating these parameters, you should make sure it's the same one that you've given in the script. So output file path and the path should be of the, the that's the new text file that you're going to write into. So we'll copy that path, paste it here. After test folder, we can name it test creation time dot txt. All right, let's click on save and then run the sequence. Let's just open the test folder. Here you can see a new text file has been created, test creation time, which is the output file. Now let's open this. Here you can see the name and creation time of the test file that we created earlier. So here is the test.txt, that's the name and the creation time. All right, now let's see one more example. We'll delete this. So here I have an other script which will get the status of the services that are currently running on the system. So that is the script uh, for that over here. Now we will copy the script, paste it in the command text. Click on save and check the is script box and under parameters we have two parameters that is one is service state and the other is the output file path. This is the commandlet to get the service state and uh, write it into the text file. So here we will write it into a text file and uh, save it into this test folder which we used before. So we need to add two parameters. And also the service state could be of running stopped active. 
So we will give the service state as running. So whatever services that are running will be uh, will be written into a text file and saved onto this folder. So let's see how to do that. So the first parameter is service state and we'll give it as running and the parameter 2 is output file path now we need to give the path of that we can name that txt folder as service status dot txt click on save now let's run the sequence now let's open the test folder here we can see the service status all the uh, services that are running is listed out here we will see for the stopped uh, services also so instead of running in the parameters you can change the value to stop save and we will just go ahead and delete this file and we will run the sequence again let's open this test folder and open the service status here you can see the services that have been stopped so that's all for this video thanks for watching